Singapore's civil defense force officers say the SCDF has identified lessons to be learned from the Little India riot and that they will put in place measures to improve some of its processes. Meanwhile, dramatic video shown at a committee of inquiry hearing into the riot was released to the media for the first time. This video footage was taken from a camera inside the bus that was attacked by rioters on the night of December 8th. In it, SCDF officer Tiffany Neo is seen calling out to bus driver Lee Kim Huat. She did not get any response. To look for him, she had to walk on the seats because of the debris on the bus floor. Initially, she could not see Mr Lee because he was taking refuge from the angry mob under a rubbish bin. After he emerged from under the bin, Lieutenant Neo's mission was to get Mr Lee and bus timekeeper Wong Gek Woon to safety. She recounted how she used her hands to shield Mr Lee's bare head as they left the bus to protect him from any projectiles that flew into the vehicle. Earlier, she recalled being hit twice on her back by someone in the crowd as she was helping to move the body of Indian national Saktivel Kumaravelu to an ambulance. SCDF said it plans to improve certain processes following an after-action review of the Little India riot. This includes improving the protection of its personnel and vehicles by increasing the number of helmets on each of its ambulances. This was told to the committee by Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Seat, who added that a CDF will seek input from the police on developing a joint standard operating procedure to handle civil disorder scenarios. SCDF also plans to further enhance training to help its responders and commanders better manage uncertainties on the ground. Deputy Commissioner of SCDF Jackson Lim, who was the day's final witness, said the riot was an important piece of learning that SCDF has now started to include in its basic training for officers.